Hey everyone, it's John here, and in this video, I'm going to show you my entry to the Excel Hash Challenge. So this is a challenge that was put out by Oz du Soleil, and it's essentially like the cooking show Chopped. So you get a list of ingredients, and then you have to come up with some sort of dish. So in this case, we get a list of things that we need to use in Excel. And then we have to come up with some sort of Excel solution that uses those ingredients. So the ingredients that I had to work with were a cutout person. And then we were able to pick two items from this list. So we had the let or lambda function, dynamic arrays, and Power Query custom data types. And then we also had to use the even function. So not one I use regularly, but it's in there. And then we had to build a solution that integrated all of those features in Excel. So the only rule was that we couldn't use VBA, which is okay because I never use it anyways, but everything else was open for use. So I did in fact use Excel online, Office scripts and Power Automate, and I even threw in some emojis in there. And for my choice of four items, I ended up using dynamic arrays and Power Query custom data types. So let's take a look at my solution. So the solution I came up with was an Excel voting tool. So I'm going to share this uh, worksheet as a view only worksheet in the description below, and you can vote for your favorite Excel YouTuber using this spreadsheet. So here you can see I got my cutout person and his job is to show the current leader of the voting. Then here I've got my custom data type. So you can see this icon here is gonna open up my custom data types that I've built. And this is just gonna give you some more information about the YouTuber. So it has information like their name, what country they're in, and a link to their YouTube channel. So you can check that out. It also has the date they joined YouTube, their channel age, and their top video, and a link to that video. Now I've also got some emojis here. So once the voting begins, this will be populated uh, for the current leader using uh, an emoji. So we have a first, second and third place emoji here. Now there's also a link here. You can click on this for each of the YouTubers and that's going to bring you to their Excel channel or their YouTube channel. And if you're not already subscribed, it's going to prompt you and ask you if you want to subscribe. So you can check out all of their channels. And now this link here is going to allow you to vote. So if you click on that, then that's actually going to trigger a flow in Power Automate. And that flow is going to add a row of data into that Excel workbook. And then that's going to allow us to tally up the votes. So here we get a confirmation that your vote has been cast for a certain person. And we can close that. And our graph here is going to update with the current votes. So what's happening is behind the scene, Power Automate is adding a row of data into a table that I've got here. So here that row of data has been added into this small table here that just has one column. And then you can see I've got some dynamic arrays here that are tallying up the votes so that they can be displayed on this results page here. So, so far we've seen our cutout person. We have these custom data types and I've used dynamic arrays. And the last ingredient is the even function. And actually, if you look at this, every second row here is highlighted a slightly different color. And here I'm using conditional formatting with the even function to generate that for me. So if I come up here to conditional formatting in the home tab, and if I manage my rules, then you can see the formula that I'm using to generate that every second row shading is row equals even row. And so when we're in an even row, this is going to be true and get the formatting applied to it. 
And if we're in an odd row, then it's going to be false and no conditional formatting is applied. Now, one other thing that I implemented is I wanted this list here to sort randomly every once in a while so that people at the top didn't have some sort of unfair advantage because usually you just see things in this area here and you tend to ignore things down here. So every few minutes, a automation is going to be run. So using Office scripts, I recorded a script that just sorts my data. So every couple minutes, a script is being run and it's sorting this set of data types here by this random number. So I'm just using the rand function to generate a random number. And then when, when you try and sort based on a random number, it's just going to randomly order these data types for me. So Office scripts are available in Microsoft business accounts. And when you have them enabled, you'll see this automate tab up here. And you can record scripts just like recording a macro in VBA. And once you record it, then it's going to be available here. And so I, like I said, this is a really simple script. And all I did was record the action of me sorting this in ascending order. And you can see the office script here is pretty simple. So it just sorts my list in ascending order. And now to run this script, so you can run it manually with this run button here. And then it's going to sort my list there. Or what I did was I wanted to automate the running of that. So I built a small power automate that every 15 minutes it runs that script. So here's the run script action and it's just running my script that sorts my data type list. Now I'm going to share this with you in the description below so that you can vote for your favorite Excel YouTuber. But when I share it, I'm going to hide these extra tabs here that are doing all the work. So you'll only see this results tab. And I'm also going to share it as a view only file so that you can't interact with it other than clicking on one of these links. So either the vote or subscribe or checking out the data types. So that's my submission to the Excel hash challenge. So this is a tool that can allow you to vote for your favorite Excel YouTuber and you'll be able to see the results live. So make sure you vote using the link in the description below. And also I'm going to link the playlist that has everyone else's entries for this challenge. So you can check out all those videos. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.